Hello, and welcome to another lesson on soundproofing. Today, I'm gonna to be talking all about why you should stagger your studs. And for those of you who have been following my channel for a long time, you may notice that my studio does not have staggered studs. And in the past, I've said, eh, it doesn't really matter. And now I've changed my tune, which is always a good thing. I'm learning, I'm growing, mainly after talking to Roger Weiss, who wrote Home Recording Studio, Build Like the Pros, and then also talking with J.H. Brandt, who's another well-respected studio designer, um, who had given me another reason why it's a good idea to stagger studs. So in this short but sweet little lesson, I'm going to teach you why it's important to stagger studs and two reasons that are you know, pretty convincing of why it's a good idea. And then also I'm gonna give you a little bit of information on our values and how insulation can fit into the whole puzzle so you have enough space for the amount of insulation you need. All right, before we jump in, if you're on this journey of building a soundproof home recording studio and you wanna learn how to do it correctly, check out my free soundproofing workshop. This is in-depth teaching that goes over exactly how I would build a soundproof studio from the ground up or in a basement or a garage. All right, to check that out, just go to soundproofyourstudio.com slash workshop. That is soundproofyourstudio.com slash workshop. All right, let's dive into this lesson on why you should stagger your studs. All right, the first reason is structural integrity. So when I was curious about this, I emailed Rod, uh, and we've gone back and forth over the years just kind of talking about different aspects of studio design, and he's really awesome, really helpful, and extremely knowledgeable. And he said that in his experience, he has seen the studs, if they're placed next to each other, not staggered, uh, actually collapse inward a little bit and could actually touch each, other, touch each other by bending. So imagine if over time the stud bends inward a little bit. Uh, I said, wow, that sounds unlikely. And he agreed. I think it is a little unlikely, but he's seen it. And it's a good reason why you should, in fact, stagger your studs. So that's reason number one. Then I talked to... J.H. Brandt, who you can look him up online, jhbrandt.net. He's another reputable, well-known studio designer, has tons of experience doing this. And he told me that he noticed one of my videos and said, hey, you're doing it wrong. You should definitely stagger your studs. And I was like, okay, tell me why. And he said that the studs, when they're not staggered, the two layers of drywall acts more like a, a diaphragm, like a speaker cone. And so the sound will hit the, let's say, the inner wall um, of the drywall, and that inner wall will start to vibrate. Even though you got two layers, it's heavy, but it will have a resonant frequency, and it will start to vibrate at that frequency. Then the spring, the air in between, is going to then also vibrate at that frequency, and it will be transferred to the other panel on the other side of the wall, which also will then begin to vibrate as well. And this is what is kind of known as the coincidence frequency, where the resonant frequency of the material itself will help to create a acoustic hole essentially where some of that that free specific frequency can pass through the material more easily ways to you know make this not as easily to happen is use something like mass loaded vinyl in between the two layers of drywall this will create a damping effect which will reduce the amount of vibration in the material itself but Aside from that, a great way to stop this is to stagger your studs because essentially you don't have the two open spaces working like a diaphragm facing each other. If you put a stud in the middle there, then one side can vibrate, but it's not directly facing the other side because there's that stud in the middle blocking it. So this was a great explanation and I like the way J.H. Brandt described it. He, he even said it's kind of like two speakers. If you had a speaker facing the other speaker and you started playing music out of it, that speaker's cone would start pushing air and vibrating, and then the other speaker sympathetically would start vibrating against that, even if it wasn't playing any music. Sim it's a similar situation even with our, our double stud walls. So that's a even better reason, in my opinion, to stagger your studs. It's important to realize that, you know, a perfect staggering of exactly in the middle is great, but you don't even have to do that. Even a few inches to the left or right will help reduce that sympathetic vibration effect that can happen when your studs are not staggered. All right, and here's an example. You know, you can see this diagram here real quick of just some staggered studs that I've designed up in SketchUp that I use for my clients. Um, and this is the way I design all my studios now with staggered studs when I'm doing a double wall system. Now, the one question that you may have, this is very easy in interior walls where you don't need extreme amounts of climate control. 
Um, you can just use R13 insulation on both walls, 3.5 inches, or if you're in metric, you know, get the insulation that just fills your stud walls, 16 inches on center, 24 inches on center, what have you, and you're good to go. But if you need more insulation in your exterior walls of your studio, like in my studio, for example, all four of my walls are technically exterior walls. So I need a large amount of isolation to protect against the climate. And we have pretty cold uh, winters here in Nashville and we have pretty hot summers as well. So we're in climate zone four, um, which means we're in that middle ground uh, where we do need a significant amount of insulation in our walls. So for this studio, we chose R30, which has a very, th very big depth. And in my studio, we didn't stagger the walls so that R30 insulation could go directly through both walls and fill that air cavity, which is totally fine. You can do it. But for the two reasons I stated before, it's not the best practice. So instead, R values are additive, meaning you can simply add them together. And that's how R values work, which is awesome. Many things in building science, physics, and soundproofing are not that simple. So for example, if we wanted to take two R15 value insulations, we would get R30. If you took an R10 and an R20, you could get R30. So you could do different R values in your walls, stagger the studs so it fills the cavities, and get the ultimate R30 that you needed, or R60, or R100, whatever it is if you're up in Alaska. So that said, if you need a deeper space for insulation, you can build a two by six wall on the exterior, a two by eight, two by 10, whatever have you, however deep you need, put the one inch air gap, and then you can have your two by four on the inside, and you will be able to get the best depth for your insulation, still stagger your studs, and still have a great soundproof home recording studio. All right, so in conclusion, this was a short but sweet lesson. I hope it was helpful in understanding some ways that you can build your staggered stud walls why you should stagger your studs, and learning a little bit about R values and insulation while we're at it. So in conclusion, remember to stagger those studs. Remember, it is important. It is something I now recommend. I wouldn't recommend doing what I did in my studio. Is it the end of the world? Probably not. Could my soundproofing have been just a little bit better? Sure. So we're always learning. I'm always growing, and I'm very humble with this whole process. Even though I'm working with clients and designing studios, I'm still always learning and trying to keep that beginner's mind attitude, as I think all of you should as well. All right. With that said, if you're learning how to do this and you are a beginner and you want to dive deep into this whole process of soundproofing, check out my free soundproofing workshop at soundproofyourstudio.com slash workshop. I'll see you all next week with more information on soundproofing and room acoustics.